The you galley know. is smaller than the engine room. Well, yeah, because that's the engine room. <laughs> so the engine room is kind of like your area. The galley is kind of like my area. And uh, I get a smaller area than you. Oh, really? Okay, I'll trade. You can have the engine room. <laughs> I'll stick with the galley, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go into the galley series now, shall we? <laughs> okay, we're going to try a little bit with the cell phone today and see how that goes. So I'd like to welcome you to the continuing adventures of Sailing Not Sure. Yeah, okay. Let's go see whatever, because I'm not sure what I'm doing, so let's go find out. So, uh, today's a red letter day. We are actually filled the tanks up to the top, found out I had a leak on one of the copper tubes, so went to Lowe's today during lunch at work, because, yes, I still have a job, and uh, picked up some compressions. I'll show you how to put on those compression fittings on the uh, on the copper tube, and no, there's no welding involved. <laughs> okay. Um, so, first thing we're going to do, and... Uh, just try to find out if I lost any water in the tanks. Probably should check the bilge. It's a good idea, oh lord. Of course it's a good idea. Meter and find out if I if the bilge has been run. So let's go check that out. Alright, so grab the trusty light, which is about, you know, when I'm done with this bolt, there will be a lot more light in here. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see. Bilge is showing. Hey, hey, look at that. That says. Uh, that says. Well, you can't read it. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, let's try that. Oh, look, zeros. Zeros down the line. Okay, so that tells me that the bilge hasn't been running, so hopefully I don't have a leak. So let's go check out the actual tanks themselves. Oh, okay, so first tank. Okay, second tank, actually. This was the second tank I, I found. Let's open that up. Bad boy up. Moment of truth. Woohoo! I still have water in there. And it doesn't look like it's gone down at all, so that is fantastic. Of course, now the color of the water isn't all that great, but I did bleach the heck out of it. Oh, yeah. What? You can smell the bleach, can't you? Mmm, nothing like bleach in the afternoon. <clears throat> okay. So, that's good. So that tank is good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's check out the main tank. Hey, <laughs> well, that tank is completely full as well. So we're talking, that's really good. So cool, no leaks in the tank. Oh, thank God, oh my God, that would have sucked if it did. Hmm. Okay, so the other thing I was thinking about is you notice that one of those has a sensor in it, the other one doesn't. So I actually have on order a couple of these sensors, that's what this is right here. And they go to a gauge, so it'll tell me what's in the water tank and how much I got left and how much we're using which is going to be helpful to actually get a measurement on these tanks so that when I'm looking at the gauges I'm kind of having a general idea of what I got and where I got and like I said the gauges will be uh, like in a previous video I said the gauges will be here and here and that's a propane switch yes the cardboard kitchen strikes again so the next trick a little fun one is going to be coming over here and fixing this tube which looks like I don't have a lot of play in it. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to find, I know the crack's there because I put a tape on it so I knew where that little, it, it was a pinhole, now it's a real crack because <laughs> I moved it. So I gotta get myself enough slack. I think in here I've got some more slack. Pull that out so I can get the tool around to cut it off and get a good clean cut on it and then put the compression post on, so. We'll be right back with more how to do this. So, um, tools are all over here. There's my whole video kit. Woohoo! Yes, I am a professional in the television business. And no, these aren't professional TV tools. You can get them on eBay. Yeah. Okay, uh, ship's logbook. Yep, there it is. And uh, some other stuff. Sand, always good to have. <clears throat> so, as I walk back here, I got wood stacked up around here. And that's as far as my leash is going to go. Dang it. Hey, that's the one trick about not having all your lights ready is I'm stuck on a leash here. And that leash is here. And how in the heck did I get that? Hey, look, there goes my light. Which, that should be interesting. Okay. <clears throat> I should 
Anyway. All right, stop recording. This is boring. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm putting the extension cord back in. Isn't this fascinating? Here we go. Ah, light! Uh, already broke one of these lights, <clears throat> dropping it from quite a distance. So. Handy work light. All right, let's try this again. Back into the ever reaches of the back area. Uh, as I said, I keep some wood here. There's extra wood clamps. Uh, back here is really where all the tools are at, which is the bathroom and the bedroom. So I've got all my tools basically scrounged up over here and over here. And as I make my way back, obviously we'll be moving those to the V-bars probably or to the kitchen. So, and you can see in the bathroom, there's a microwave. Always a good place for a microwave. Yeah, right there <laughs> in the bathroom. Anyway, there's a little sucker. Um, basically, it's little tool looks like this. So, which basically it's used to cut uh, cut the piping. How about some light? It's a light. Jeez, I really gotta find. It. I gotta get these lights installed. Of course, that's one of the things I'm, I will be doing is uh, putting up new lighting fixtures all around here, so it doesn't like bloody dark in here all the time. Okay, so, <laughs> how you doing? So one of the things we're gonna do is start using this little tool and uh, go ahead and cut that uh, copper toe. So, first of all, I gotta get some slack on there. I know the tube runs up back over here. I don't know if that'll give me enough to actually crack that open. Almost feels like it's got a bump or something on the other side that's kind of the problem. Okay, so it looks like I got enough to get it on here. The crack, if I'm correct, is right around there. <laughs> if I'm correct. Hey, well that's great, what if you're not? I can feel something right there that feels yeah, that feels like it's going in the tube, so I think I nailed it. I'm going to have to cut off section here, section there, put it back together. Alright, so the way this works is, just tighten it up a little bit, run it around the tube, give it another tight, run it around the tube, tighten it up a little more, run it around the tube. And just keep tightening as it goes around. And you just gotta have a little patience with these. And there it goes, just cut it. So there, just cut it off. Okay, right, so there we go. Give it a turn. Tighten a little more, give it a turn. And you'll start to feel when it starts coming off, like I can feel it now, and there it went popped right off. Alright, so let's take whoa! <laughs> well, I'd call that a definite pinhole or a big hole, so I found the right spot and that was it, thank goodness. Okay. Yes, I used to be a lighting designer in theater. Yes, I'm not doing proper technique on lighting. Thank you for noticing. Okay, I uh, got uh, my bag of sandpaper. Now I'm gonna sandpaper these suckers because uh, there's a lot of paint on here. I want to make sure to clean that up before I try and do the compression fittings. Which these are what the compression fittings look like. Come in a bag. Now the kind of the one I'm, I've got is three eighths inch um, outer diameter tube for both ends. Pick out the lows. <laughs> Now this is probably backwards, so I'll have to flip the video, boop, and then you'll be able to read it. See? Now you can read. Unless you can read backwards, my backwards friend. Very good. Okay. The nice thing about these compression fittings is I'll know right away. And it's gonna leak! <laughs> I don't have to wait for uh, anything to really dry. Okay, you see I've got it on there, so now I've got to actually tighten it down in order to finish compressing it together. I'll be right back with some more tools right after this message. <laughs> okay, I'm back and I'm dangerous. I got tools. All right. So I want to open this sucker up. Grab one side of it here. There's a, basically a, a nut kind of in the middle here. It's mostly just going to be for holding. So don't want to over tighten it. I'm just going to 
to use a pair of pliers. Put a little brute force into it and hopefully not do. I don't want to over tighten the bandle, but just enough to compress that ring. Start to feel a bite. tight right there. Okay, it wasn't tight enough apparently because I went ahead and <laughs> it popped right out. I guess I'll be doing that one again. Did I mention it's good to buy a second one just in case? Hmm, well, maybe I shouldn't have sanded it down. Probably just let it catch from where it's at. All right, let's try that. So, um, when I mentioned it's good to have a second one, guess what I'm using it. <laughs> so I'll have to buy another one. I have to buy another one as a spare now, because I'm going to use the spare, so yay! But first you don't succeed and screw it up, always buy a second part and do it again. <laughs> that seems tight. First real test is being, a, hey, let's turn the pump on and find out if it really, really works. Alright, be right back. In fact, I'll even leave the camera running so you can watch it if it spurts like crazy. Keep an eye out for me. I'll be right back. Okay, one tip. <laughs> See these levers? They have to be open. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it's not going to leak at all. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> Guess what? Got a problem. <laughs> so, it still leaks. So, ah, plan B. Hmm. I'll have to find one out. Figure one out. I'll be right back. Plan B coming up. Okay, so, what did I do wrong? <laughs> oh, how many things. So, when this came on, it didn't go all the way through and out to where the threads is, whereas you can see this other one here actually came out and it's out to the threads. So, which is good because that's how it compresses. So, really, I'm not getting good compression because this thing didn't go all the way through. So, I'm going to have to clean up this pipe some more back here. It's got to build up the stuff. So when I finish building that up, then I'll be able to get this down more and then get the compression right. So that's why I wasn't able to get the compression. You see, now I've got this tube out here. You probably can't see it because you're so far away. Come closer. Take a look. I will show you what it is all about. <laughs> so look right there. Okay. Um, you're probably going, I can't see nothing. There's nothing. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay. Extreme close up. Look at so, this, this, what you see coming out of the pipe right here, that's the actual copper pipe coming out. I pushed it down far enough that it's kind of even with this collar. You can see I can still move it around a little bit. I can probably just take it off. You see there's the end, so I'll push that on. And you see there's the end. That's what I was getting before, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't compress because there wasn't, it didn't go so far in, has to go pretty far into this piece to start compressing. So... Um, I'm going to push it down, get it even with the collar. So there we go. Now I've got something that'll compress. I'm going to put those ends inside again. Extreme close up. Yes. Okay. Put that end in there. All right, now I got both those ends in. So now I'll take this piece and put her into there. Now this one's sealed up just fine. It was the other one I had problems with, which probably, and that's why, because I didn't push that tube all the way through. Probably the last shot I'm going to get with this, because that was my last one of you, so if I screw this one up, it's back to Lowe's for another one. So, this is where the compression actually takes place. We might have some success. But let's really find out. I'm going to dry this off really good. Of course, last time it leaked, leaked like you couldn't, you could easily see it on the video. Anyway, so I don't think really a little wetness is going to matter. All right. Now, well, first thing I'm going to do is what I forgot in the first place, which was to undo the uh, the release valves that are hidden right over here. <laughs> Make one. I'm going to open up both tanks. Those are for both tanks. Okay. So uh, we're going to go turn the pressure back on. If you guys will watch, see if it leaks. Cool. <laughs> ah. Ooh, that, that build pumps it. 
Ready? And I'm hearing water coming. Ooh, looks dry so far. Mm -hmm. It's amazing when you do something right the second time. Thank you. Oh, ho, look at that. I got another leak up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where'd that come from? Oh, oh, that's great. That's leaking. That's just freaking beautiful. Look at that. Oh, nice. Well, I got uh, got water, but uh, I got water where I don't want it. Guess I'll be replacing that one. Look, the sprayer. It works. Go, baby. Woohoo! Look at that. Yay! Okay, not quite, but yeah. Looks like I'll be uh, replacing that one too. <laughs> Let's go try another faucet that I just put in and see if it's breaking. Oh, let's check the leak first, make sure it's not leaking. All right, got my hand all wet, so take the dry hand. How's it doing? Oh, oh, dry as a baby's bottom. Yeah, maybe I should use a different metaphor on that one. It's dry as a gooby desert. Yeah, okay, whatever. <clears throat> let's go check out the uh, bathroom one here and here. Here we go. All right, here's the really cool bathroom faucet. Oh, look at that baby go. Oh yeah, look at that. This comes out, you got the shower going. Of course then I'm thinking I probably have the through hole closed and it's probably not going to drain, so hey, let's go check out the through hole. <clears throat> Ow, there's the through hole, okay. And there's the, yep. There's the seacock in the through hole, and yes, I have it closed because, well, you know, when I'm away, you try to keep those things closed. So, <clears throat> open that up. Beautiful. All right, come back into the old uh, bathroom here. Got my lighting going on, and you can see it's starting to start drain. So that's good. Yes, the tub's a little dirty because we're still in construction phase. Look at that. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, that's some power to it. That's nice. I'm really cool. There we go. And I can pause it just by pressing a button. The Admiral likes that feature. Yeah. All right. So looks like those are all working. Yeah. Speaking of work, I got a lot of work to do in here. <laughs> um. All right. So I think we're good. I'm gonna take a general check around the boat at some of the other connections here. Uh, make sure that I don't have uh, any other leaks around. You know, unsurprisingly, so I'm, I'm definitely not. I don't leave the pressure. Don't want to leave the uh, the water pump on and creating pressure the whole time I'm gone while I'm at work or something. So we'll actually uh, shut that off. But in the meantime, I'm gonna kind of poke around and uh, look for leaks. Thanks. And I hope you enjoyed today's instructional video. There'll be a text blog probably with something more detailed, pictures, in case you don't want to watch video. Yeah, right. Later. And I've got strainers, tubes, and yeah, that's this all is going to take a little bit longer to figure all this out, what I've got going on. Okay, so as you heard, the, I heard the pump take off, and it just ran for a minute. I'm not certain why it ran. Oh, what have I got here? What is that thing not here? Um, 60 PSI pump. 12 volts, four gallons per minute. So it's four gallons per minute is what it'll do. Not seeing any water leaking over here, so that's good. It's got a filter on it, which I'm pretty darn certain has been changed in decades, so I'll probably have to change that out soon. <laughs> uh, otherwise, everything looks good here in the engine room. I will later on come back and start labeling and changing, uh, changing some of those filters out. But, uh, that's a whole nother project for a whole nother day. Thank you for joining us again for a fabulous episode of The Sailing Not Shore. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned how stupid I am and stupid stuff that I do. Uh, anyway, see you next time. It's quick, somebody make an edit. Oh my god! <laughs> By the way, have you seen the wiring in the engine room? Check it out! <laughs> Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Oh my god! Luckily, I've been labeling, as you can tell from the white labels, I've labeled a few things, but God forbid. Hey, let's turn it this way. See? Looks even worse, doesn't it? Here, not so bad. Here, worse. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll quit screwing around. Uh, Bloopertainment, Joe. Thanks. Don't let the Admiral see this. Shh.
Okay, you're really going too long. I am, but you yes. but you kind of didn't tell what the bell well, was. Well, because you had been doing the bell, and now I did the like and subscribe part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching the galley series. Make sure to like and subscribe. And click on the bell, because that will tell you every time we put out a new video, which currently is about once a month. And make sure to comment. We'd really love to see some comments about things that you might do on your boat. Ideas and things you think are really cool on your boat that my wife could have me do later. Especially for the galley. So let us know. We'd like to hear from you. And we're not sure... When our next video will be. And we're not sure... What our next video will be on. Actually, the next one will be on the galley series. Oh, it'll series. be the galley series. So there you yeah. go. So we do know. <laughs> Catch us again. All right. Thanks. Thank you.